day four of shutdown, motherfucker. And there's still nothing happening today. Skeleton staff come in. Right, I'll just give you a quick pan of the compound, see what we've done. There you go, bug. Look what we've done for your tent. It's nice and waterproofed up now. Looking pretty funky. Tech tent, and look, uh, we've even managed to turn Spain's shanty town into a really decent. He said very snug and very warm last night. He slept for the first night all the way through. It was very, very warm. Well, let's have a quick look round. While I do, I want to just mention a few members of the environment team because obviously it's not just a couple of us here. There have been at least four, five, six of us working hard here. Uh, one of those whose evidence has been invaluable and we wouldn't be anywhere without is Dan T. I'd like to thank him personally for all he's done so far. And then you've got obviously Dan A. And uh, myself and Spain. Spain's the newest member of the team and he has really stepped up to the mark. The dude is a trooper. He just works and works and works. Uh, digging a hole now for the new uh, latrine out the front. We could use a hand shifting that big old latrine again. There's another one, Jim the Joiner, who actually built the latrine, the best toilet in uh, in any protection camp as far as we're concerned. Uh, oh, who's that up? And, look, there you go. If you look carefully over there, that there, where is he? I can't see him in my own light. Is uh, where you gone? There, is that you? Yeah. There's a there's an oil worker. Pacing the mound, we call it the mound. There are two large, long mounds, just as there are at most of these sites, for the security to uh, wander along, come rain, wind or shine, to make sure we don't get in. Although, why we would want to go in there, I don't know. But yeah, this is all the oil workers have to do now, is pace up and down that mound. Um, in fact, I think they're doing the security's job for a while. Um, and uh, I'd also like to thank Will Thompson, who came up with the idea in the first place of monitoring the environment and for health and safety. Um, Will's up in court, I think on November the 5th, very apt day, being as he was sat on top of a rig with uh, an anonymous mask on in a Robin Hood suit. Well done, Will. We'll, um, we'll try and get some people over to support you. I hope uh, the anti-fracking movement will actually mobilise some people and turn out, I think it's at Mansfield Court on November the 5th. Um, will Thompson, who initially thought up the idea of attacking these places with uh, a different uh, stance, a, different, a diff different tactic. But as you can see, look at that. Sun beating through the rig there. And absolutely nothing going on. Oh. Generator. Generator? Lorry. No. Tractor. Way. Movement. Hold on. Crikey. Are they just starting the engine to blow the cobs as cobwebs away? We'll see. But uh, yeah, there are other members, you know, that have been really, really helpful here. And um, I'd like to thank Lee for coming up the other day and relieving us for a couple of hours, a couple of days, and taking uh, taking the helm. Um, so many people that have actually, you know, put in a lot of time, a lot of effort here um, to get to us, get us to where we are now. Um, it is a team effort. There is no I in team. Um, although I'm here most of the time, you know, we don't consider ourselves um, leaders or such like. We're just very proactive and uh, methodical. So we're getting the job done using the law against... Um, against these energy firms, these energy giants, because they have literally just taken the piss. They've, they've ignored every stipulation from ripping out 20 metres of hedgerow instead of the six metres that they were allowed to, to uh, draining, drowning the mice. Yeah, look, yeah, let's go and have a quick look. There's one in there, looks pretty recent. That's a shame, I think. Uh, there's one down there in the, in the water. I don't know if you can see it. Um, well and truly dead that one, looks like it's been in there a while. Um, not so many at the moment, I suppose that's because they're all back in our bloody kitchen. They do like it in there, you know. Let's have a quick look down the trench, give you some indication of what we're doing here. You know, every day we check the trench, we count how many dead creatures we find in there. Um, we seem to be doing alright today. 
either the mice are learning or or maybe they've just maybe they've just not come out to play yet but it's a glorious day here as you can see it's a bit chilly but the sound that you can hear there is non-activity and that's the way it's going to stay I think apart from the odd tractor driving by and there he is your oil worker right over the back there looks like he's on his phone so well you know they're getting paid shed loads of money to stand around and do nothing and I reckon what do you reckon about a quarter of a million a day they're probably uh, pouring down the drain here getting nowhere fast I'll be very surprised if um, Rafflin actually make it to the court case maybe Connell will have to come in and take responsibility for their own shit who knows but we'll give you an update a bit later up to for now this is day four of shutdown motherfucker and uh, all is still <laughs>